This is a, a submersible pump station that we have at the uh, Cowpen Branch facility at Hastings. Uh, we've got a, a new system here. It's controlled with a variable frequency drive. We've got a power service coming in here, power pole, meter can, and a disconnect switch. And the big white box that we see is the variable frequency drive. That's what controls this, this submersible pump station. If you move on over to the well itself, you can see the eight inch casing coming out of the ground. That's a PVC casing. Uh, we've got a 25 horsepower submersible pump that's inside the well. It's set at a depth of 80 feet. It'll pump about 550 gallons a minute max capacity. Next to the well casing itself, you'll see we've got a small pressure tank. It's a bladder type pressure tank and that's just used to provide some cushion and some feedback for the pressure sensor which actually controls the, um, the VFD or sends information to the VFD to, to be able to control the pump. The pressure tank is not a storage tank like we typically think of pressure tanks being. The pump doesn't pump water into the pressure tank and then shut off, water flows out. It's simply there to uh, provide some cushion for the pressure sensor and just a little bit of uh, feedback for the pressure sensor. So it allows the pump to maintain pressure instead of having a, a large off-on cycle of the pump and water pressure in the system. We're looking at the uh, pressure sensor and the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge just allows us to visually confirm that the, that the pump is maintaining pressure at the value that we've set at any given point in time. And the pressure sensor is what provides feedback to the variable frequency drive for controlling the pump. What we're looking at right now is, is simply a water meter and that allows us to track how much water we pump at any given time or throughout the season or throughout the year. It's a simple meter with a gallon figure on it and lets us track water usage. So if you look at the well casing coming out of the ground, the, the path that the stream of water will flow is right straight up through the drop pipe that's inside the casing up into that galvanized T and then it makes a 90 degree turn, flows into the blue pipe, then flows through the water meter, then into the PVC pipe, and uh, through the black valve, and then into our main irrigation line, which is the six inch line that's coming up out of the ground at an angle. The small inch and a quarter line that's underneath everything that leads over to the pressure tank is simply a place for us to, to feed water in to get it to the pressure sensor and the pressure gauge so that the VFD will have a, have a place to read pressure and be able to control the pump speed. If you notice we've got a cross, a four inch cross in this line and coming out of the top of that cross is a another small line with a valve on the end of it. That's simply a place for us to be able to get water if we need a source of water in the field sometime. It's just an extra access point for us to, to be able to get water out in the field. If you notice, we've got a, a four inch valve. It's, it's the black valve with the kind of yellow handle on it. That lets us isolate the pump from the rest of the, the irrigation line. We have a looped irrigation main line at this facility and all of our irrigation pumps and wells on the facility feed into the main line. So at any point we can, if we have a problem with a particular pump, we can isolate that pump, work on it, and still be able to, to deliver water anywhere on the farm we need with the other pumps. What we're looking at is a six inch riser coming up from our main irrigation line. There's a a piece of six inch pipe that comes up from that line above ground and on top of it we've got a six inch ball valve and this riser was put in basically for future expansion it's much easier to put risers in when you're building a line than it is to have to go back and tear the line up and insert a riser into it so 
at this point in time we're not using this riser for anything but it, it it's another access point for irrigation water for future projects what we're looking at now is a six inch cast iron gate valve and we use that to uh, open and close the water supply going into our ear drain system. The ear drain system is fed by a six inch line. With the gate valve we can isolate that system out of our main loop and uh, control the flow of water in or out. So if we have to make a repair we can shut down the ear drain system and uh, make the repair without having to shut down the whole irrigation system on the farm. This uh, black piece that surrounds it is simply a short piece of a polyethylene culvert and it's simply there to protect the valve and lets us see it and know where it is and not be able to drive a tractor over top of it.